Hi, this is Matt, and together with me, I have uh, Timmy. He's uh, one of the best salespeople I know. He's uh, from New York, and he just came here uh, to stay with me in uh, Valencia, in Spain. And what I really want to ask to Timmy is, how does he, how do you actually deal with doing sales when your cash flow is really low? So when Timmy came to Barcelona to meet me three days ago, he would close a sale on uh, 4K, uh, paid, like for how much was it? Yeah, yeah 4K. For, for 4K paid up front. And, uh, if, you know, even though his uh, cash flow is was low and um, it's kind of a stressful situation to come to another country, being in Barcelona with a jet lag and then you're in a hotel room, right? And then you are able to close a sale on, on, on 4K um, just like this. And then the reason why I'm asking is because for me, it's it's really stressful to work, you know, out of that, you know, out of my office where everything is organized nicely, where I have my routine, and it's very stressful. The most importantly for me to work when my cash flow is low. So, how, how do you manage this? Yeah. So, I, it just doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter because there's only I understand that there's only two things that I can focus on, and I can either focus on the lack of sales or sales. You can't think about anything else. And when you're distracted by stuff, you're focused on the wrong shit. So if I'm not focused on making calls and sending out in inquiries to my leads and, and doing my whole sales process, then I'm kidding myself and I'm deluding myself and I'm actually just focused on all of the wrong things. And that's mainly the, the problem that I see is that people don't commit and people aren't taking action because they're actually just not committed and they're not focused on the right things. Um, so it's it seems like a stressful scenario for people, but I just am not focused on all of the reasons to be stressed. And I'm focused on a few things to just get myself into flow and then make sales. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you do that? Can you, can you tell me that case scenario? So you land in Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, your cash flow is low, and then you are uh, closing a sale on 4K. Like, how does that work? Like, yeah. How do you put your mental attitude in there? What, what do you do? Like, you sit in, at your desk, and then you're like thinking, okay, I got to focus now, and I got to do the sale. Nothing else matters. Or how does yeah, that work? Yeah. Well, pretty much. Like, I knew I had to follow up with a client that was going to buy, so I knew I just all I needed was the the environment that I needed to do that, which is simply internet, um, you know, enough enough speed to make a Skype call anywhere in the world, um, a hotel room, so like a, a desk and like a quiet environment, and that's it. You know, I have power, I have my uh, universal, you know, US to Europe thing, and that's like literally all I needed. And I was like, okay, now I sit down here and, and I just focus on getting another sale. So and and other people will be stressed out because they're 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 focused on like all these other things and I'm in a new country all this shit and I just I blank all that stuff out um, and just keep keep my focus single. Mm -hmm. So this is the um, the ability that the best entrepreneurs I meet they have they can just uh, blank everything else and just focus on one thing at a time. So in this case it would be focusing on sales. So. Um, maybe I guess another question I have is how do you blank everything else? Because you're, you know, first time in Europe, it, it's extremely exciting. How do you like forget about everything that is around? You forget about Spanish girls, you forget about the nice weather, you forget about anything, everything, and then you just focus on sales. How, how, how do you blank everything else? Yeah, yeah. So I understand. I've trained my mind in the sense that. I only focus on one thing at a time. So um, when I'm at a coffee shop getting a coffee, like I'm in the moment. I know that sounds like kind of like, like, but it's it's keeping my focus on one thing always. Like I don't multitask ever. Um, and that's and, and when I do catch myself multitasking, that's when nothing works. Um, you know, for example, right now I'm not thinking about doing anything else like in the back of my mind. Like there's no programs running in the back of my mind right now. Like I'm just like I'm just pulling the information uh, you know from my mind and, and really focusing on the question. 
So for sales, like I'm just focused on the sale and I'm just sitting there and I'm just in the zone. Like I'm not worried about all these other things. And I just, I don't let myself, I don't let my mind drift towards any of those things. And that does take practice. Mm -hmm. And how can you practice that? Yeah, so mm, it, it's, it's all about just focusing on one thing at a time. So, you know, the, and this isn't like a new kind of concept. Like people have been doing this for thousands of years. The Romans used to stare at a candle flame and they used to just stare at a candle flame for 10 minutes. It's, it's in a way, like you could call it meditation, right? In a way, you could call it that. I'm not sitting there like, mm, like with my, thing, my like fingers like this, but it's, it's, sort of a, it's sort of like a, a, it's sort of an awareness process. So what can you do? Mm, you, can, you can stop working right now, and you can, you can go outside, and you can say, oh, well, I want to go to a coffee shop. You can, don't think about work. You leave your phone, leave your computer, and you walk there, and when you're walking, you're just aware of your steps. And then when you're there, you're, you're, you're looking into a person's eyes when you're talking to them, like the, the waitress or whatever, and asking them for a coffee. And then when you get it, you're like just drinking the coffee and you're only thinking about drinking the coffee because everything else is bullshit. Like nothing else is, is actually real in that moment. It's all about awareness and about focus and focusing on one thing at a time because you'll get one thing done way better than if you try and do two or more things at a time. And many people would have uh, this problem that even though they want to focus right now, they want to focus on walking to the coffee store or they want to focus on a sales call right now, there is something dragging them down, being stressed, like, ah, maybe I don't have enough money right now, maybe this and that. Um, I guess my last question is, how do you don't, during the process of being focused, how you don't let those bad thoughts come into you? How you block them? How do you block those bad thoughts? Mm, yeah, well, I mean, I'm not perfect, and, like, nobody else is. So, like, like they come in, um, and you can't stop them. Really, it, it's just a process of, I honestly think it's just a, it's a process of, a, of, an, of awareness. So, if you're aware you can be aware that you, you're, that these pro, these thoughts are coming in, and then when these thoughts are coming in, you can say, "Okay, wait a second. Like this isn't productive. Every second of the day, I'm asking myself, like, is what I'm about to do next? And this is a subconscious habit. I don't even think about it anymore. But it started as a conscious habit that I started, and it's about saying, like, all right, wh what am I thinking about right now? And is this a productive thought? And I actually just, this, this program is running in the back of my head, but this is like the only one. And it's, it's this awareness program that's saying like, oh, like, um, what, what are you thinking about right now? And like, is this productive? And it's usually yes. And when I realize it's not, then I catch myself and I snap out of it. And, folk, and, and then just set myself onto the, on a productive path. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Thanks a lot, Timmy, for today's video. Yeah, and sure. uh, subscribe to see the new video tomorrow. And uh, thanks for watching this. Good luck.